Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my April favorites video. It is May 2nd, which is actually my mom's birthday. So happy 60th birthday, mom. I love you and you don't look anywhere near 60. So hopefully you gave me those good jeans as well. There are so many good, amazing products in this video. So let's just get into it because I don't want it to be too long for you guys. I'm going to start off with hair today and the first product is actually a brush. It kind of looks like the Tangle Teaser but it's called the Aiku and this is amazing. I've been using it non-stop and because I have blonder hair, especially once I shower and my hair is wet, my hair strand tends to be a little bit more softer, like a little bit weaker so it tends to break when it is wet. I think that just happens with everyone's hair when it's wet but this just kind of eliminates the breakage when you brush your hair so I tend to let my hair dry as much as possible without blow drying it and then I just brush it with this and there's minimal breakage. I like the shape of it better than a tangle teaser because I also do have a tangle teaser. This one just feels like it has a better grip, there's more bristles on it or whatever you call these plastic things. I don't know, I really like it and I prefer it to the tangle teaser. Moving on to dry shampoo, I've been using this non-stop. I'm almost out of it and I need to repurchase it because it is amazing. It is the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo Cucumber and Green Tea. Hands down the best scent in a dry shampoo I've ever smelled. It smells amazing amazing and it's the kind of dry shampoo that you like obviously spray in your hair but it almost feels cool and refreshing and almost a little bit damp. You let it sit for a little bit and then you massage it into your roots and it completely eliminates all of the oil in your hair. It smells amazing and it doesn't leave that white cast which I don't really mind especially if I'm blonder just because it looks like I got fresh highlights. It kind of lightens up my roots but I really do enjoy this. I love the scent and it's not too cakey in my hair. I feel like it doesn't add to the greasiness which some dry shampoos I feel like just add to the greasiness of your hair where this one just eliminates it and it leaves your hair feeling nice and fresh. The last hair favorite is actually my hair right now. I have been wearing these clear elastics non-stop. They're like a little scrunchy of like plastic. I don't really know what they are but they don't leave a crease in your hair. Also I tend to have a lot of hair mostly by my roots so whenever I'm using a thin elastic it always breaks which is so annoying. So these ones never break. They don't stretch out. They're just really amazing and they're like two pounds at H&M. Two masks I have been loving lately are from Fresh and I know that Fresh is such an amazing brand but I think because they were so expensive in Sephora I just never bought the masks. I would always get like the little tester pots and whatnot but they kind they sent me a massive box of all of their masks which I am so thankful for. So the two that really stand out to me are the Rose Face Mask and the Umbrium Clay Purifying Mask. I actually use these together so I'll put the clay mask mostly in like my t-zone area wherever my pores are enlarged and then I put the Rose Face Mask on the outskirts of wherever I didn't put the clay mask and I think they are amazing. I'll use both of them separately on their own sometimes but I am such a fan of these masks. They're amazing. They don't irritate my skin. Sometimes with clay masks it makes my skin feel itchy. Like five minutes after I apply it I feel like tingly and I want to like scratch my face so I can't really keep it on for too long but I don't have that problem with this one. It really just helps clean out your pores and your skin feels nice and clean and fresh after using it and with this one it just smells amazing. I'm slowly getting into rose based products lately. I used to kind of stay away from it because I thought it broke me out but I think because my skin has been changing lately it really is enjoying rose as an ingredient in a lot of my products. There's another product I'm going to be talking about later that has rose in it and I love it. So big fan of these two masks. They are a little bit on the pricey side but they do work and they just make your skin feel good like it's a luxurious feeling that your skin has after using both of these masks so I recommend even getting a tester pot to try it out to see if your skin likes it but yeah really big fan of these. Moving on to my favorite part which is makeup. I have been loving my makeup lately. Just the products I'm using I am so in love with all of these products so I had to share them with you plus there's some that are just making my skin stay matte all day. So of course my oily skin viewers you're going to want to listen to this. The foundation that I've been wearing was actually recommended by you guys and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. So you guys know I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear, just the regular one, but it's a bit heavy for everyday wear and I don't feel like my skin needs to be covered as much. I use number three but number two would be better um, without any tan. But this is just really nice and the equivalent of tawny so whenever I'm wearing a tan so it's a great match especially for summer. It's lightweight on the face. It's a light 
light to medium coverage, definitely buildable. It doesn't feel cakey. I do the lightest layer of this stuff all over my face and then I go in with my beauty blender and a little bit more of this product and just kind of spot coverage any areas that I need a little bit more coverage and I have been loving the effect. It's just such a beautiful finish and I think this with some other products have really been helping um, mattify my face. I don't know what's in it but it really has been helping control the oil especially in my t-zone. It does have SPF 10 although I don't find I get any flashback maybe because it's the powder that I'm using on top. I don't know. Love this stuff. Has been amazing and definitely picking up some more. Now the powder that I have been using with that foundation is this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Micro Powder in Medium 2 and this is amazing. I am first of all obsessed with the packaging. This rose gold is just so classy. I love it. Good size mirror. The color is amazing for summer. It really has been keeping my foundation on all day. That's what I've been loving about the Estee Lauder and this together is that it's just been enhancing my makeup throughout the day. Like it doesn't go after a couple of hours and I have to blot my face. Like I find like I get a good solid eight hours out of this, which is amazing because it's not too full coverage. It's a little bit more wearable for an everyday summer you know makeup look and such a big fan of both of these I don't know I just have been loving how my makeup has been staying in place and just the finish of it all together so we are obviously heading into the warmer months not too much here but you know what I mean summer is just around the corner so everyone is breaking out their bronzers and the one that I have been loving so much lately is the new Becca one this is in the shade in Panama Sun in Panama Sun I believe Really love it. It is beautiful. This stuff is so pigmented though, so a little goes a long way. I learned that the hard way. I had to start my makeup again recently, but you just use a little bit, really top off your brush, and then buff it into your face, and you're just left with such a beautiful, soft, focused, bronzy, sun goddess look. I'm obsessed with these bronzers. They did send me their whole range of all of them, and I find that this one is really nice when I have a fake tan, and then I go a shade lighter whenever I don't, but I think they're amazing. They're not a full matte. They do have the slightest sheen into it, but I just think it really enhances your natural skin texture and the way it looks, so absolutely beautiful. I recommend checking these out. All right, we're almost getting there, but if you follow me on Snapchat, then you'll know I have been raving about this Ofra Blush book. Woo, this is amazing. It has every color you need for blush ever. So if you definitely want a one-stop shop with blush, this is definitely the product you need. I know Desi Perkins uses it all the time and it is just so beautiful. Again, extremely pigmented. A little like touch of this blush. Any of these colors goes a long way. Really tap it off your brush. But the selection of these are just beautiful. There's lots of neutral tones, really pretty pinks and peaches and bright pinks. Every single blush you could ever want is in this. And the thing that really attracted me and makes me love this so much is that the blush stays on all day. Like it doesn't come off. I find blush is the first thing to wear throughout the day. But these Ofer blushes just last all day. They're long wearing, they're beautiful, they're vibrant, they're not powdery, they're very skin-like. Can't say enough good things, love this. All right, so this next product is definitely the final step to what has been keeping my face matte throughout the day. So you know the foundation I've been using, the powder to set it, and then to fully set all of it after I'm done my face is this Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, and it's with rose water and green tea. Amazing. I love this. I can't stop using it and it definitely keeps my makeup on. So just using the foundation and the powder, I do get a good long wear out of it. But with this, I get that like extra, I don't know, stay put look. Like my face just stays from the moment I put it on in the morning. It looks the same when I go to bed. Like a bit of oiliness, but so minimal compared to what I was used to. It is incredible. I highly recommend this if you have oily skin, even if you have dry skin, like rose water is amazing for dry skin. So this has been incredible. I am so happy I've added this to my makeup bag because I was really never into makeup fixing mists before and this one has totally changed my mind. It's amazing. All right, the last favorite I'm actually wearing, it's on my lips right now. It's not necessarily this color, like I, I do love this color, it's just the actual product and the range of the colors. And it's these Lancome Matte Shakers. They are incredible, I am so obsessed with them. I was lucky enough to get sent the whole range of colors 
and I'm just, I'm obsessed with every single one of them. They're amazing if you have a drier lip and a liquid lipstick is just so drying on your lips and it just really just enhances flakiness. This is not the case. It's more of like a stain, like this color looks so vibrant in the tube, but on my lips it's a little bit more diffused and more stain-like, so it's not like it's very heavy on your lips whatsoever. It is not drying. It takes a while to actually dry down to a matte, but I, oh, I'm obsessed with these. I love the peach shade and the nude shade, and this is yummy pink that I'm wearing right now with a little bit of a brown liner just to kind of mute it, but such a fan of these. They're easy to store in your makeup bag, on the go, whatever it is. So good, so make sure you check these out if you want a matte long-wearing lipstick, but you don't want that drying effect. So that is it for my April favorites. I tried to just get through it as fast as I could because there were so many good things that I have been loving this month. Let me know what your favorites have been this month in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!